Puppers. Here was. Here was. Oh, hi. Hi there. You're excited, huh? Who's excited, huh? Okay, hi. Be Max. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> oh, bless you. Time to make some coffee. Coffee. -fee. Coffee. -fee. Today we're going to use this cup here. Joyous cup. Oh no. You want some water? You wrote. There you go. I meant to grab the creamer. Creamer. I can turn it. There we go. Love, love, love this creamer. Oh no, don't get your nose stuck in there. You already had your food. You're so handsome. You're so handsome, my babies. You're so handsome. You too, but you've been a little brat today, B Max. You need to stop. Be good. Be a good boy. Be a good boy, okay? Be a good boy. You want a people watch? Is that what you want? You want a people watch? Okay, come on. Mom, open the door for you. I know that's what you guys like. You like to people watch. And we have the Grinch is on. Clearly, somebody loves the tree. Sir, I've told you this plenty of times. Don't ruin that tree. You're a good boy, Hero. You're such a good boy. You are such a good puppers. You're so handsome too. All right, let's uh, light some candle. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Today's coffee mug choice is a Baymax. This one I got at Disneyland. My coworker that I used to work with, he went to Disneyland and he knew I had a dog named Baymax because we just had one dog at the time. Um, and he showed me okay, on, sit down. He showed me a picture of this at Disneyland and I was going the, that next month and so I just had to get it. So I went literally searching for it everywhere and I finally found it. Hopefully they had I was hoping they had like a hero one, but they don't. But I'll get myself a coffee mug of him later on. Hey guys, so 
I just wanted to sit down a little bit here before I film a video. Um, <clears throat> this little piece of hair can like move. Excuse me, sir. Can I help you? Can mama help you? There's nothing up here for you, bud. You're being a good boy today, huh? So I just wanted to sit down here, um, kind of let you guys know the plan for today because I really have to get a bunch of stuff done. With Christmas around the corner, I have to wrap presents, make presents, get presents. Like, there's so much stuff. So for... Today, the plan is to film actually two videos, three if you want to include this vlog, two makeup tutorials because I've been dying to try these two palettes that I got, the Desi and Katie uh, Frankation palette and then the Morphe one that I've been talking about. Um, so, sir, I know that's for your great grandma. I know she loves you, but she doesn't want your hair on her blanket. Thank you. Much appreciated. Anyways, um, so I have to wrap presents. I have to make two presents for uh, my grandmother and my grandfather. Um, those are going to take some time, but I have to get those done today because they don't live in Arizona. They live in Virginia. So I have to make them, ship them, and we can send them off. So hopefully they probably won't get there in time, but she'll still receive it. Um, and then I have to go to Target because we need some things around the house that we ran out of this past weekend. So I need to go to Target and grab some of those. I need to do a bunch of stuff for my Etsy shop. Have these things in my mind and I've been doodling at work. So... That's what I kind of have to do um, and just make all my sketches that I did at work, put them into Procreate and then edit them and make them. So there's so much stuff I have to do, but I need to get started. I need some water first. So that's the plan for right now. We need to film a video and go to Target and then come back and film another video. And then make the presents. <laughs> so much stuff. It's okay. It's okay. We will prosper. Isn't that right, Hero? We will prosper. I will check back. back uh, uh, uh. I will check back in with you guys later. Hey, guys. So I got back from Target a little while ago. I didn't vlog there because I really didn't get much just... Um, some stuff for the house, like cleaning stuff mainly. Um, and then I got home and immediately went to working on the blankets. Those took quite a while to make and I still have one more to make. So I decided that I'm gonna take a break and do some other things that I need to get done. First, I need to clean this room again because it is a mess, I don't know what happens throughout the week that causes this room to be messy but it needs to be cleaned again and that's what I'm gonna do right now and then I'm going to sketch or put some of my sketches that I did um, at work into Procreate and make some stickers so enjoy I hope you guys enjoy and let's get to it
Hey guys, so I just got done filming this tutorial. Let me take off my glasses. This holiday fun little tutorial here. Super, super cute. Um, I just wanted to jump on here and tell you guys a little bit of what's going to go on today. Um, so just got done filming this look. Then I'm going to go head over to Michael's and... Um, Probably Hobby Lobby because I need to pick up some things. Honestly, I'm really trying to reorganize my Etsy shop and kind of sit down and think like, Anissa, what do you really want to sell? Um, and then just focus in on those products and then later on add more. Because um, I'm just so anxious and I'm just like, yes, yes, this, this. I want to make that. I want to make this. I want to make that. And I'm like, Anissa, calm down. You need to rethink some things and figure out exactly what items you want to sell. Keen in on those. Make sure those are great. And then you can add on. I take too much on it, I feel like, at, at once. So um, I have what I want to sell now. That's all set to go. I just need to go get some products um, to officially kind of, like, make them and enhance them a little bit more. So really quickly, I did want to show you guys some things that I got. And I'm super, super, duper excited here. I'm going to put this coffee mug down before I break it. I recently... Got some new nail polish from KL Polish. If you don't know what that is, that is Kathleen Light. She's a YouTuber here. I'm pretty sure y'all know who she is because she's amazing. Um, she started her own nail polish company, and I ordered some products from her because I just couldn't resist anymore. And I was like, yes, bitch. And the bitch got paid, so I was like, uh-huh, we're going to buy some. And she just had some bundle sales, so I was like, okay. Yes, let's do it. So I just wanted to show you guys the shades that I got. On her website, I don't think that she's doing it anymore or offering it anymore. There was um, like three nail polishes for $15. They were their own little bundle. So I got two sets of those. So I believe this is one set and this is another, I think, or it might be like that. Either way, I don't remember the sets, to be honest, but I'm just going to show you guys all the colors that I got. I am planning to get more just... A bitch got to get paid before she get more. So <laughs> um, the first shade here is called Cancer. Um, it's from her Zodiac collection that she did. Zodiac, Her Zodiac uh, collection is limited edition on her site. So it's a little bit hard to get open. But it's this beautiful, like, gray slate color. Oh, I don't know why I smelled it. It smells like nail polish. Duh. Um, but this is, I thought this was super, super cute on her little swatches that <coughs> she had. I'll try to place them here somewhere in this video so that you can see an actual good swatch. But I just wanted to show you guys the colors that I got. So the first one here is Cancer. The next one here is called Cat Casopia. Because I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce this. But it's this gorgeous, like it reminded me of New Year's Eve in a bottle. Like legit New Year's Eve in a freaking bottle. It's this like gourd. Let me see if I could turn on the slice so you can see. It's this gorgeous like black nail polish with a hint of gray in it and just a whole bunch of festive colors. Literally New Year's Eve in a bottle is what I thought. Like bam 2019. That's probably going to be on my nails during that time. The next here is Pisces again from her um, Zodiac collection, just a metallic light blue color. It honestly reminds me of her. Let me show you. This is her collection that she did with ColourPop. It's literally this in a bottle, I feel like. No? Or wait, where is it at? This in a bottle. No? If I can freaking, you know, do a side by side comparison. I feel like it literally is her shade in a bottle. Amazing. So I'm super excited for this. This shade here is called Yzma from, I believe she named it after, uh, what's that? Uh, Kronk's, no, not Kronk's, um, Emperor's New Groove, I think. It's this gorgeous, like, shimmery purple color. Literally amazing. Oh, you're messing up the bristles. I know. I'll definitely find comparisons or the swatches for you guys from her um, because they're gorgeous. This next shade here is Scorpio, and I really, really, really wanted this shade from her limited edition. Her so I can't talk her Zodiac palette. 
why am I having such a hard time opening these? Lord, I'm going to go to the gym. But it's this gorgeous red metallic, more like a dark burgundy red. Kind of like a copper. It reminds me of a little bit like a deep, deep burgundy copper, if that makes any sense at all. Probably doesn't, but just, you know. And this last and final shade is the reason why I bought the bundle, to be honest, because it came with this shade and two others. And I was like, well, if I'm gonna, I really want that shade. And instead of buying it for $10, let's buy two more for a total of 15 you know? This is Aquarius 2 because she does have an Aquarius shade that she did um, with, I think it's all called her lip and kits, lip and nails, lip and tips, something like that. Um, so she already has an Aquarius shade and I'm super happy that she made another one for her Zodiac collection because this is absolutely gorgeous. It is like this, it's blue, it's a deep blue with like little gray sparkles in there. Oh, it's just so amazing. So I will probably be putting on, I'll probably be doing my nails this shade during the month of December. So, and then probably switch over to this one. But my goal honestly is to get all of her shades. Um, and because she just comes out with the most amazing colors of all time. Like obviously she's great at colors in her palette so she's gonna be good at picking colors for her nail polish collection and they all look so 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 cute and I just want every shade so my goal is to get every shade other than the that suspensive I think her second one because I have her first one just her second one I don't have um and I want like a little nail polish wall, you know, where I can put on my nail polish and be like dang so I don't have to go to the nail salon anymore because I spent so much money at the nail salon and I can just do my own nails, you know, I'm trying to cut expenses here, I'm trying to budget myself. I got places to be, things to conquer, dreams to accomplish. So a bitch got a budget. So those were the six shades that I got in total. And I'm so, so, so excited to try them out. I can't wait. But that's pretty much it for this little snippet. Just wanted to to bring you guys all in together here this lovely Tuesday afternoon. I need to hurry up and get dressed so I can go to Michael's and meet my boyfriend at Costco because we have to get dog food. You know, feeding these dogs gets expensive, but I love them. So I feed them anyway, and I will most likely buy them toys. Just making sure they didn't hear me. I will most likely buy them, you know, T-R-E-A-T-S and toys for Christmas, so they don't know what's coming. They don't know what's coming. Why am I like this? But let's uh, get on going, you know? Get on with the show. I must admit it, I just can't resist, I can't get you out my senses. Bro, this Chick-fil-A by my house is almost done! Honestly, Chick-fil-A, I'm your number one fan. I literally go there all the time. So, I'm gonna be highly, highly upset if that Chick-fil-A opens and I'm on my way to work. Or it opens on a day that I'm at work and I can't come over here to get lunch. You know? Because I'll be over there at work. Like, I should be part of the first people that go there because I love Chick-fil-A that much. So, I'm going to be really hurt. Like, legit hurt. If I can't go. Andy, do, do you know how to catch up on what's on me? I'm currently on my way back home. Um, I went to Michael's in Hobby Lobby. Um, and then I went to meet my boyfriend at Costco. Remember how I said I had to go meet him there? I met him there. Um, and then 
we just got like some pillows because my dog Hero thought that it would be a fun game to take all of the couch pillows outside and play with them. So we had four pillows on our couch, all four, one by one, ended up outside in the dirt, all chewed up and whatnot. So we got tired of having no pillows because a couch without pillows is not comfy at all. So we went to Target, or not Target, Costco, and we got two pillows. I got a beanie because we're planning on going to Sedona at the end of September, or at the end of December. So I need a beanie because I know it's about to be cold AF up there. So I got that, and of course it was an ASU one. It was only like $10 at Costco, so I was like, oh, heck yes. Um, and then we went to Ikea, um, got some Tupperware there. And then my boyfriend really wants like a long rectangular mirror. So we were going to get it at Ikea, but then we decided to go to Hobby Lobby. I don't know why he thought Hobby Lobby was going to be like a Ross or like somewhere that had electronics. We get there and he's like, it's, it's a craft store. I was like, yes, babe, it's a craft store. Like, I don't know why you thought it was something else. And he's like, I thought it was for electronics and it has some other stuff here. I was like, no. So, didn't get anything in Hobby Lobby. We went to Marshall's, um, got a new shower rod thing, and then we were going to go to Ross to get a mirror. But we were like, it's already about 5 o'clock now. We missed the pup, so we want to just go home. And we already know we're about to be stuck in traffic, which we are currently stuck in traffic. So um, now we're just on our way home. I dropped him back off at Costco because we just took my car to the excursions today. Um, and now we're on our way home. We might go to the movies later on tonight because we still have to see Creed 2. Um, we originally were going to go see it about a week ago, but we kind of got spooked um, because there's this guy in the movie theater that came in kind of weird, like, excuse me, we set up at the very top of the row at the movie theaters. This guy came in with his headphones in, a hat, and a super, like a big backpack that was stuffed, and so, and then he just like walks across and walks all the way up to the last seat on the back row so he was literally in the corner so he could see everybody in the movie theater and there was only about like 10 people in the movie theater at the time and so you never know what's gonna happen the world is crazy now i kind of just didn't have a feeling my gut was telling me no don't like just don't stay there anymore so uh, my boyfriend was like do you want to leave and i was like yeah i don't feel good i don't feel right here he's like okay so then we saw wreck it ralph too um and we still have to go see Creed too, so we might go see that tonight. He has tomorrow off, but tomorrow is basically for Christmas shopping, really, because he still has to finish his. I still have to finish mine. I have to get my brother his present. Um, he has to get like his whole family their present still. So that's mainly what tomorrow is for. <laughs> Big bang say like Lil Banks. Big bang say like Lil Banks. She said, What you gon' do if I leave? I said, Bitch, I'ma do me. Ay, la me como si fuera la última vez. Y enséñame ese pasito que no sé. Un besito, bien suavecito, bebé. Taqui, 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 rumba. But I'm a boss bitch. Who you gonna leave me for? I look like a freaking bum. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Um, it's like super late in the afternoon. It's five o'clock right now. Um, just kind of bring you guys up to speed on what we did today and what I where I'm going right now. 
So yesterday we didn't go see Creed. I was actually super tired yesterday, so I just I just decided to stay home. Um, and then this morning we woke up pretty kind of late in my opinion. Um, we woke up at like eight o'clock, and I eight. Uh, my sleep in time is like seven o'clock now that I have. I have work. I usually get up at six, six thirty. Um, so when I sleep into like eight, I feel like my day is almost like practically gone. Um, but we did go to, um, where did we go today? We went to the mall. Um, I got myself a a new hat, which I'm super, super excited to wear. I'll probably wear it tomorrow. Um, and my boyfriend had to go shopping for his family. So we bought, we got one thing for one person in his family. He's waiting to get the second thing right now. Um, and he still has a few other things to get his family members. So he's not done. I'm almost done. I just have to get some like slides for my brother um or shoes whichever ones so we went to the mall and then we went to um the mall and then we went to go eat somewhere in mesa it's called mingos if you live in the mesa area or chandler phoenix tempe and you haven't been to mingos i'm highly judging you right now because it's a little Mexican restaurant, and it's so, so good. It's on Main Street, um, and it's just divine and authentic and just full of a delicious self. So I highly recommend that place. Again, it's called Mango's. We went there for lunch, and then after lunch, I don't know what got into us, but, like, we were in a hard-ass food coma. So as soon as we got home, I knocked out from 1.30 to 4 o'clock. I just passed out and right now I'm on my way to the hospital well I'm on my way to pick up my mom right now remember we're gonna go to the hospital because my cousin my mom's nephew had their baby last night um, his girlfriend was pregnant and she gave birth last night so we're on the way to go see the baby at the hospital right now um, I'm super excited because the pictures that my aunt texted our whole family in the group chat he just looks so adorable and his cheeks are the most chubbiest cheeks of all entire time like oh so freaking adorable i wish you guys could see what this baby looked like because his cheeks are just so freaking chubby he looks like a cabbage patch kid he really does and um he's su he was super long i think he was like 20.5 inches that's a long ass baby. He's probably gonna be tall, but I'm super excited to see the baby. Um, so that's the plan for right now. And then I think my mom wants to grab something to eat, which honestly, I'm not hungry because the freaking mangoes, I'm still full off of that. And currently I'm drinking coffee because I need to wake up. I've just, just been so exhausted these past couple days. Like going shopping, going Christmas shopping, takes a lot out of you it really does also sorry if i look like a freaking bum right now i literally woke up from my nap put clothes on wrapped my hair up in a bun brushed my teeth and i was out the door so i'm gonna listen to some music while i'm sitting in traffic here and go pick up my madre and go see the little munchkin munchkins <laughs> 